many soccer players. Today, in our soccer basement training video series, video number five, we're working on the laces for striking the ball and for receiving a little bit. So first, to warm up, we got to make sure that ankles lock down, which so many younger soccer players struggle with. So I'm going to do a pull push. I'm going to roll it back with my sole, point my toe down, lock the ankle, push it forward my laces. So I'm just going to do right foot continuous, rolling it with the sole, ankle down, pushing it. Then I'm going to switch to my left foot. Same thing. Make sure that ankle's locked. Should be in a straight line, sort of back and forth. And then maybe you do a little hop in between and you alternate feet. You sort of want the ball going straight back and forth. Make sure the ankle's locked. You should feel some tension in your ankle as you're pressing the ball forward, getting ready to strike it. Then next, on my turnover coffee table, my couple yards of space, I'm going to strike the ball continuously, one touch with my laces. It should be in a little bit of a V pattern as you're hitting it with your laces sort of back and forth to the feet. So I'm like a couple feet away. So we're obviously not cranking shots, but a nice little follow through. My shoulders are over the ball. My head is down. All right, if you're leaning forward, the ball is in the sky. If you lean back, that's when it skies. So it's with my laces. I'm striking the ball. I'm up, oh, back to the left foot. All right, I'm getting my feet set. All right, you need to take a touch, set it up, that's fine. We're just getting reps in. Then, to make sure you have that ankle lock, to make sure you have the stability with one leg and to hit it with the laces, every time you shoot, you're balancing on one leg. So to help you with that balance and help lock your ankle, you're going to juggle with one foot laces just continuous. So just my right foot, just my laces. Uh. So it helps find your balance because you're shooting on one leg. You're kicking the ball on one leg. Now I do my left foot. Oh, I dropped it. No big deal. Pick the ball up. Keep going. Do that for a little while. Then the fourth one, you're going to do a little bit of an elevator trap where you cushion the ball down. So the ball is coming in. Make sure to cushion it down. And then immediately hit it with your laces. So we're going to toss it. Elevator trap. A little sort of volley. Toss it. Elevator trap. Oh, didn't elevator trap it too much. If you hold your foot steady, it's going to bounce off of it. You want to sort of cushion it. So as the ball comes in, you want to sort of drop down with it. So I drop, readjust my feet, hit it. Cushion it, readjust my feet, hit it. You know what? Sometimes I readjust my feet, I make sure my body's in over the ball. So I sort of drop it, get my shoulders over, hit it. Drop it, sort of it, readjust my feet, hit it. It bounces too much on the floor, coach. I'm only three feet away, coach. All challenges that if you can figure out and train in your basement, you're going to have fun and you're going to get better.